you sure got everything? Yes! Hello, Adam Brett speaking. <laughs> oh, hello, yes. Hey, you lot! Inside now! Come on, jump, pop, pop! Make sure you move! Right, new boy, come on! You jump there, get up that boy! Come here! Come here, you! You should have gone the other way. Right. No. Hmm. Interesting. What else girls like about boys? Hey, stop me! <laughs> Hi. Yo didn't recognise him, I suppose, did you? No. Don't tell me. You're too busy with your text mailing. Well, they had helmets on, we couldn't see. The one in the letters had a nice bum, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here come my two trusty lieutenants. That motocross bike's a limited edition. I can tell you the exact model. Details, you see, Dom. Details. Right, let's get this grove on the road. It's good. Keep going, don't slack. Right. Come on, pet. Let's go. I'm staying in the car. <sighs> She's feeling tired. It's not far. Just add a bit on, Keith. OK, then. Let's say uh, 14 minutes in total. Not bad for a test run. Well done, everybody. Can we go home now? Of course we can. Hello, Adam Brett speaking. If I hadn't answered it in time, I might not have got the job. So come on then, what is it? Chicken plugger? Loo cleaner? I know. He's a lifeguard at the sewage works. <laughs> <laughs> He's here? Who? Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten. Hey, our boys will do them as well, if you like. And your favour. I think the brush a bit dodgy. <laughs> Something that might interest you. Mind, it's only for me special customers, so <laughs> keep it to yourselves, I'll read. <laughs> Hoodies. Half price. Oh, cool. Spencer shouldn't even be at this place. Let alone be one of Norman's trustees. He's got to be up to something. A leopard never changes its spots. Yeah, why are you telling me all this? It's not fair, Sarah. You broke your heart, burgled the grove, and now he's making money out of us with official blessing. We've got to do something. Sorry, no. Please, Sarah. You of all people can't just forget him. Yeah, well, if it's all right with you, I'd like to give it a damn good try. What's this? Your rogue boyfriend, the computer thief. You know, there was no proof, Bill. Just a lot of people jumping to conclusions. Right then, dog death. Let's get this meeting started, shall we? Walk this way. Everyone, I want you to meet your new housemate, Andrew. Andrew Tate. Hi, Andrew. Spud. Everyone calls me Spud. 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 Seize the deer. Make it count. Just do it. You see, I have been to a dark place. Mum's not been making you sleep in the shed again, has she? But now I'm back. Start small. Rebuild. One day at a time. My name is Fraser Murray, and I'm a success. <laughs> Dog death are going places. <laughs> hey, get it. Ball of the bands. A biker community centre. We are going to be the voice of the North East. Keep it local, you go global. That's it. Time's up. Thank you. Hold on, we've only just started. You're not even supposed to be in here. You're not in the book. And if it's not in the book... It's, it's not, not booked. booked. Precisely. Right, come on, let's start the audition. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. You just said be individual, express yourself. 
Zoe looks good. Come here. So, don't you want them to sing? Singing's just the icing on the cake. And you get to right mix, the star quality, the right combination. I'll know when I see it. Ellie phoned us the other day. Oh, yeah? Oh, and I'm supposed to be so interested, right? She said that she didn't want you thinking that she moved away just because of you. But she is glad that you stopped sending all those letters. Cool. Whatever. Anyway, I'm over. I've been working out new strategies. Ah, so that explains all the daft phrases. Now, let me guess. Tate. Tate? Tatey. Potato. Spud. Are we right? Do you like football? Not really. Ah, Sutherland supporter. Ta da! <laughs> what was that? I read that women love a man with mysterious skills. Stumpy, pulling long stringy things out of your nose isn't a mysterious skill. I've thought it through, you see. Magic is sexy. But this is an audition for a pop group. Is it? I just saw everyone queuing up, so I thought I'd join in. <laughs> hey. <sighs> How's the bike maintenance business going? Not bad. It'd be too much like hard work, though. I've got this new line that I'm pushing, if you fancy helping. What do you think? Perfect for the skatey, bitey types? It's a bit more profitable than puncture repair. Yeah, cool. What do you want me to do? Help put the word around a bit, do the odd delivery, especially if Inspector Bill's on one. Spencer, it's all above board, isn't it? I mean, it's genuine gear. It's not counterfeit or anything. Of course it is. I've got a contact in the business. He supplies all the local skate shops. He's done us a good deal. Hey, man, look. How long have we been seeing each other? Have I ever not been straight with you? No. Sorry. It's all right. Just trust us, OK? Did you not want to get changed? Not really. Well, quick tour, because I've got some work to do. Come on, Adam. Why the big secret about your job? Not because of mine, is it? Oh, I am jealous of you. The Saturday boy on the biker post. Geek job. <laughs> well, well, it's yours, then? Proper job, not pushing a pen behind a desk. Look, I'll be earning some cash to help you out a little bit, and that's all you need to know. I doing a birth plan? Well, how's it going? It's not. Well, come on, Leanne. At this rate, it'll be filling its nappies before you fill that in. Leave this to me, will you? Right. Fine. It's for your own benefit, you know. I mean, think how you want it to go while you're nice and relaxed. Because believe me, once you're in there, it'll just happen. Come on, I'll help you. Bit of a contradiction, though, isn't it? I mean, if I'd planned it, I wouldn't be in this state now. Is this really necessary, Dom? I mean, we can vouch for him, you know us. Sorry, lads, Norman's orders. You'll have to wear this until Norman has vetted his application for membership. Dom, this is us speaking to you now. You're starting to sound like one of them. Sorry, lads, I'm not in charge. My hands are tied. But you know that everyone's unhappy. I mean, can you not just speak to Norman on our behalf? He abolished the biker reps in the first week. Yeah, there's nobody to speak up for. Can you at least get him to chill out? This says Andrew. Everyone calls us Spud. Should say Spud. And no nicknames on official documents. Proper names only. Is that a bit of a time and day? Right. I'm what sure about a burst partner? I can do that if you like. Oh, you petal. Sit down. Hiya. You all right? I better ask Adam about that. I'm not having him there. Well, I just thought, same as I've been through it all before, with you and your brother and your sister. Your mum's right, Leanne. She's more likely to know the right things to say and do. Yeah, I know. But I still think I should ask Adam first. It is his baby as well. So, uh, are you still coming to the Grove? The yeah, I'm soon to talk about being pregnant. But we haven't finished this. What about pain relief? I'll get me caught. Oh. Right. Fancy audition for a band? The results are in. Not really. 
OK, now, it's been very hard to choose, but the Fab Four are... Quite simply... Right here. Yes! <laughs> Excellent. Cool, I did it. This is going to be so good. <laughs> well, congratulations, lads. This is Spud. We're just off to, um Fill in one of Norm's forms. <laughs> yep. Spud, these guys are your age. They're just like you. Except a bit weirder. <laughs> See ya. Hi, one. Look who's back. Hi, Eve. What's up with you, Lil? You'll find out soon enough. A card, please. Spencer! What's he doing here? She said, card, please. And call him Spud, because he never takes his jacket off. <laughs> Boom! <Ba -boom. laughs> you, boys, what are you thinking of? What? Don't you cheat me. Riding by the pond? It's an accident waiting to happen. Your names are already on the sad board today. <laughs> Girls, can you stop that? Come on, it's not clever. You oh, whoa, it what's he on? He's always picking on us. He thinks he's still at primary school. Sad boy. This is getting serious. We've got to do something. Spud? If I can vouch for you, give you what we call a replacement card. It'll cost you, though, five pounds. Five pounds? What's up with this place? Rules are rules, Eve. We all have to go by them now. No exceptions. I knew it. Got you at last. Caught red-handed. Using your position to extort money out of helpless young girls. You're right, Bill. Eve. I admit it, Spencer, you're going down. Just wait until Norm hears about this. Till Norm hears about what? Another replacement card. Shall I give you this now or later? Thank you kindly. I'll put it in the cash box. What? Spencer's a liar and a thief? Only a complete idiot would trust him. No offence. Don't listen to him. He makes up stuff all the time. Like, he said he was going out with this girl, Regina, but she didn't know anything about it. I was confused. I'd been in hospital. Anyway, Spencer's a thief, that's a fact. Look, I'm sorry if you've got uh, mental difficulties or whatever, but Spencer and Laura are my trustees. They hold positions of utmost responsibility. I think I'm more likely to accept their word than yours, don't you? Thank you. Norman! Norman! Quick! The pond, you were right! No! Oh. One minute he was with us. Next minute. Right, stand back. Dom, phone for an ambulance. Ambulance! I found his tie. He can't be far. He's not. This is supposed to be some kind of joke. Hang on, Norm. It's not Spud's fault. It's not locked him in the cellar. It's supposed to be funny, I guess. Oh, oh, I've just lost my sense of you. Oh. You have just booked yourself an appointment in my office. <laughs> you all right, mate? <laughs> not really. Do you realise that hoaxing the emergency services is a serious offence? Nobody even called them. Sorry. Them's our bikes? Not anymore. They will be kept locked in my office until further notice. You can earn them back. But they're ours! You will be trained in the use of a wide range of chemical cleaning products. Now, who wants the pink? So what's Luna, apart from your jumper? What's the matter with this place? Well, nitpicky gnomes managed to kill the place. We need Kelly back. Is what only hope. Kelly! If you don't mind us asking, where do you get that jumper from? It's loads when, Marvson. All right, I got our Spencer. A cheap deal, but I wasn't supposed to say. You don't think I could borrow it, do you? I don't think it would fit you. Just trust us, Sarah. I know what I'm doing, OK? The size. You look fantastic. Oh, oh, Norm, Norm, I thought you might want to say hi before the talk. Talk? What talk? Uh, you did put it on the board, didn't you? Ah, yes. 
So which one of you is the unmarried mother? Ah. Oh. I want a word with you. Make an appointment. I think you'll find it's in the book. Watch that. Never seen it before in my life. Don't make us laugh, Spencer. I've got proof you're selling these. So? So where do they come from? Uh, Taiwan, isn't it? Aye. All right. Have it your way. Find out myself, and then I'll be back. Oh, uh, Bill, mate. I'm glad to hear your, uh, your legs better. Wouldn't want to get them any worse, mate. I'm not scared of you, Spencer. Well... Ah! Maybe you should be, mate. <laughs> right, quiet, everyone. Now, uh, you may have missed the publicity for this one, but Leanne has very kindly and bravely offered to talk to us about her pregnancy. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yes, Norm, this is exactly the sort of thing they need to know about. Hmm. Um, hi everyone. Feels a bit weird, me sat up here doing a talk. Probably don't need to say anything. Just seeing me like this would make anyone think twice about losing the virginity. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you. I should be sat out there with you lot, mucking around at the grove without a care in the world. Not sat up here looking like the side of a house. About to give birth to my first child. I didn't mean it to happen. It was my first time. They were trying to get it, Norm. I don't think they've got it in for sport. You put that thing. Your blazer's ruined. It's the only jacket I've got. Don't worry, pet. We'll sort you something out. Oh, that'll be the pizzas. Fetch me purse, will you look? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Dan. I'll take them, Spud. Sorry, I haven't got any smaller. Don't you live here? Adam? Is that you? Oh, Mint! It's Adam. Hey, this is his top secret job. Oh, good on you, that's what I say. But you will be careful, won't you? Those scooters can be dangerous. Did you not fancy coming in and having a bite and get yourself warm? Thanks, Lou. If I need to get some money together for Leanne and the baby. And if I don't deliver these on time, I'll come up with wages. No rest for the pizza man. See there. After everything you said, why did you keep the baby? My dad wanted to get rid of it when I first found out. But I couldn't go through with it, especially when I saw the scan photo. Is it a boy or a girl? We didn't want to know until the baby's born. Are you getting a flat off the council? Aye, probably a house with a swimming pool and all. No, that's rubbish. I'll be staying with my mum and dad. Any more uh, sensible questions? I hope you don't mind me asking, but where is the father in all of this? He's at work at the moment. Ah, so you do know who he is then? Yeah, he comes here. I'm sure I've told you all this. So, finally, Leanne, if there was one piece of advice you'd like to pass on to your fellow Grovers, what would it be? Norm! Oh. Bill, wait outside the office. Norm will see you then. <laughs> I just wish I'd waited. So, if you're thinking about having sex, think some more. Be sure it's because you want to, not because the lad or your mates think you should. And if you're going to, for goodness sake, use a con... Dom, I'm afraid. <laughs> you're... You're overrunning. And uh, at the end of the day, if it's not in the book, it's not booked. No, hang on. You stop me deliberately. What is your problem? I don't think I'm the one with the problem. OK, let's calm down, Leanne. The last thing you need is all this stress. No, I'd rather have it out in the open. 
Because one of the main reasons I got pregnant was ignorance. If I'd have known all the facts, I'd either not have done it, or at least I'd have been careful. Right, that's it. Out. Delivers good pizza. I'll give him that. Oh. Do you want some more? Not really. Will you stop saying that, man? It's just... There'll be none left for tomorrow. Andrew, it's OK. You're in a different home now. We do a fresh meal every day, and whatever's left gets thrown out. Mind, not that that's much with the twins around. Really? So how come you've been landed with us? Where's your man? Luke! I'm only asking. I'm not really sure, cos we never had any money. She used to go robbing stuff, mainly food. Might have something to do with that. You mean she's in prison? Luke. She's there at Buckingham Palace. Uh -huh. I overheard the social workers talking about it. They didn't know it was this and then, and one of them said my mum was enjoying a short holiday at Her Majesty's pleasure. got to speak. I've got some serious allegations. She's having a baby. She needs support, not... That is enough! Right, at the end of the day, I am paid to make decisions round here. And my decisions are final. But your decisions are making our lives a misery. You're 50 years out of date, Norm. Right, you're banned too. What? That's ridiculous. Well, you may think that, but I'm in charge. And either you accept my word or... That's it. But we're all entitled to our own opinion. So am I. You two are banned. You heard him. Break it up. I can't believe this. You're banning honest, decent members like Leanne and Angeli. And then you've got Spencer dealing in dodgy goods right under your nose. More lies. I tell you. Just can't help himself. Right. I've had enough of your slander for one day, young man. You're a troublemaker. Go on. Out. You heard the man. Get out. The lot of you. You can't do this to us. Norm, hang on a second. Don't you think you're overreacting just a bit? You're too soft on and dumb. That's the trouble. Come on, guys, out. No wonder this place was in such a state when I took over. Don't think we're going down without a fight. You've not heard the last of this. Out! Don't listen to her. They can't do anything. This isn't over. Smart kids. Bride kids. I don't mean to be rude. You mean she killed him? She was so paranoid. Hello, girls. Pathetic. Normal go nuts. I don't suppose it would help to have a little word. Something's got to give here, Norman. Well, rest assured, it's not going to be me. They'll probably try and stitch us up. So <laughs> <Very> much. <laughs> oh, did that just happen? <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> 